Okay, folks, we're back again to do another unboxing of comics for the shop this week. Uh, the lunar shipment here is... I uh, had to open the box already to get something out last week. They come really early. Uh, so this already opened, but I have not taking the comics out so it's, it's a genuine unboxing kind of sort of anyhow this is the first unboxing video of 2024 happy new year to everyone and uh let's get started as soon as i get these comics out of the box i'm gonna go ahead and take them all out get them on the table there's not very many from lunar uh so here we go Batman, number 141, cardstock variant, Tappy Tappy, first Tappy Tappy of 2024, uh, Titans Beast World, number one, uh, Beast World Tour of Atlantis, number one, this one does have a little bit of a damage thing there, I think I'm gonna let that slide, that's not so bad, uh, yeah, it's a number one. Let's look inside. Okay, there's different things going on. This one has kind of painted art. This one, not so much. Then there's this. So lots of different stuff going on in Titans Beast World Tour of Atlantis. Tour Atlantis, no of. Anyhow, Batman 141. Big stack of these. Let's inspect it, because it feels kind of floppy. Oh no, DC, not you too. Giving this Batman 141 a tappy tappy. Of course, this is a regular cover. It is a very thin cover. Sounds the same to me. Yep, they've gone to that Marvel business model of uh, not putting the cover on the comic. Also, Poison Ivy, Tappy Tappy, Poison Ivy number 18. And they've gone to using these flimsy covers like Marvel. Great. Kneel Before Zod, number one. Let's inspect this one, give it a Tappy Tappy. Oh, it's all flimsy floppy. Not good. And here's the art inside of Neil Before Zod, number one. All right, Fire and Ice, number Fire and Ice, welcome to Smallville, number five. Flimsy. Don't need to look in that. Blue Beetle, number five. I guess we're giving all the comics to Tappy this week. Very very flimsy. Birds of Prey. Number five. Flimsy. Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries. <coughs> Excuse me. Number one. Regular cover. That actually, actually may be a little thicker. Anyhow. It's number one, we'll look inside, but I expect it to look like a Scooby-Doo comic, and it does. This is Dead Man. Nightwing. Some crazy something going on in the back there, not sure what that is. And here's Batman 141, a cardstock variant. A very robust Tappy Tappy. Oh, and it's got the... The regular cover inside now. Okay, this is some weird stuff. So you got your cardstock cover. With this barcode, which says it is one number 141, third variant, first print. That's how that code works, by the way. This is number 141, first variant, first print. So what they're doing now is they're taking the, the regular cover, which is not really a cover, 
And they're just putting this over top. They haven't been doing that. They may have been doing it for a while, and I didn't notice, but uh, that's new. Here's a shiny thing. This is Batman number 141 glitch foil variant. Even thicker tappy tappy. And there's the interior cover. So I'm thinking it's exactly the same. And you could just with this overlay, you could actually probably remove that if it was if you were so inclined and just have a regular cover copy. Superman! The Metal Curtain, number 78. I mean, not number 78. Superman 78, The Metal Curtain, number three. And last from the lunar shipment, we have Shazam, number seven, versus Black Adam. Flimsy. Flimsy cover. All right, let's move on to the shipment from uh, Penguin Random House. We have a box and four mailers. So mailer number one. Daintily packaged by Packing Slip. And we have Moon Knight number one. This is a variant cover. Here's the regular cover for Moon Knight. Vengeance of the Moon Knight, it's called. Vengeance of the Moon Knight, number one. Let's take a look inside. And let's, 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 this actually has a cover. A cover cover. Weird stuff going on with paper stock nowadays, huh? Think that was Ben Grimm? There's some crazy stuff going on in this comic. This may, I don't know, is that what Moon Knight normally looks like? So anyway, that's your art for Vengeance of Moon of the Moon Knight number one. With mailer number two. Daintily packaged by. And this is a bunch of posters and a thing. That packing slip invoice thingy. We got Kid Venom Origins number one variant edition poly bagged. Weird. Okay. There it is, poly bag. Not going to open it and show you. Let's see what the posters are. Ultimate Spider Man number one. Amazing Spider-Man 2 with 2 Facsimile Edition. Avengers Twilight num Avengers Twilight 1 Alex Ross. Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars Facsimile Edition. That's kind of cool. And Wolverine 41. So, your local comic shop probably has those. Go get them. They'll probably sell it to you. Um, yeah, also you can, they send those as promos because, uh, you can order them. Well, it's promotional for the books, but you can also, those are also available. You can order those, uh, as rolled posters, not folded. Rolled posters are much better. Dangerly packaged by packing slip. Oh, this is a great cover. I had a friend texted me a picture of this cover. It was like, wow, look at that. Now I can look at it in person. Got a big brain. Check out the big brain on Brad. Fantastic Four, number 15. Awesome, Alex Ross. Big brain cover. But now, uh, this is something I noticed. Fantastic Four is not only running away from this giant brain, which is not very heroic of them, they're also way out in front of everyone else. So they're like... Get out of the way, people. We've got to run away faster. And that one's got horrible spine damage. So that's not very heroic of the Fantastic Four, but maybe it's strategic retreat. Who knows? Thankfully packaged by. This is mailer number four. 
one comic inside. It is Giant Robot Hellboy number three of three. How does Penguin Random House make any money when they're sending everything free shipping in separate mailers? Not the smartest thing, but whatever. That's up to them. Not none of my business. Uh, oh, this is the box properly packaged. Look at that all the way around. Can you see it? Can you see it? All the way around. Good work, packaging person who we can maybe identify. Gosh. I'm going to get it out of the box. Woo. Okay. More packing material. Gosh, there's a lot of packing material. Got your revolutionary technology. No slip that says who packaged it, which is a shame because they did a great job. Packing slip invoice. And off we go. Trying to get the comics out of the box without destroying them. Okay, got about half. Star Trek Picard's Academy number four. Sonic the Hedgehog number 68, cover A. <sighs> Doctor Strange number 11. Now, this is a variant cover. I think they're calling these the Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine variants. Where they replace a, char a character on an iconic cover with Wolverine. Oh, yeah, here's another one. This one's kind of screwed. Let's see if it breaks color, but it does. Yep. Ah, uh, Captain America, number five. Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine cover. Which is, of course, a tribute to Captain America 100. Put that aside and call in. Ooh! Amazing Spider-Man number 41. Rom the Space Knight variant. Heck yeah, Rom is back. Just in covers and reprints right now, but we can only hope. Amazing Spider-Man number 41. This is a variant cover. Man, what's this? What's this with Galactus? Fantastic Four number 15. Greg and Tim Hildebrandt Marvel Masterpiece variant. Remember the old trading card series? Yeah, it's like that. Beware the Planet of the Apes number one. Obviously, a Scotty Young baby variant. Oh my. Miguel O'Hara. Spider-Man 2099, number one, Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine variant. Of course, a tribute to McFarlane's Spider-Man number one from the, I think it's 91 or so. Marvel Meow, number one. It's number one. Let's take a look inside. Oh, we didn't look in the, well, we'll skip. We've got the Planet of the Yeah, we'll take a look inside of Marvel Meow, number one. Meow. Okay, it has this kind of art. Here's Dr. Doom. That's a plus, right? Maybe? Gosh, I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, Marvel, meow, number one. Beneath the Planet of the Apes, number one regular cover. Let's take a look inside, good cover. Nice uh, Dr. Zayas there. Art is uh, kind of strange. Oh, there's a map. And that's your art. Or beneath. But beware. I, did I say beneath before? It is not beneath the planet of the apes. It is beware the planet of the apes. So watch out for that. Beware of the planet of the apes. Another copy, Beware Planet of the Apes. Silver Surfer Rebirth Legacy, number five. Kid Venom Origins. Here's this comic again. This is the regular cover. 
let's take a look inside. Very interesting art. I would say that's interesting. Falcon form. What in the world is going on? Oh, maybe it tells you, shows you the layouts. Anyway. Kid Venom, number one. Kid Venom Origins, number one. With a somewhat substantial cover stock. More importantly, it is cover stock. Marvel Zombies, Black, White, and Blood, number four. Star Wars High Republic, Shadows of Starlight, number four. That's really, yeah. Thanos, Smash of the Titans, number two. Did we get number one? I remember seeing number one. Hope I got it. Uh, Doctor Strange, number 11. Another great Alex Ross cover. Gosh, he's good. Captain America, number five. Regular cover. We saw the Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine variant. Another Doctor Strange. Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man, 2099, number one. A couple copies. Let's take a look inside. And that's your art for Spider-Man 2099, number one. Here we have Darth Vader, number 42. Up more of these with the awesome cover. Fantastic Four, number 15. I know we've already seen this, but we're looking at it again because it is so awesome. Except for the cowardice of the actual Fantastic Four. Venom number 29. Venom's not selling as good as it used to for me. Uh, facsimile edition, Avengers number one. No, never mind. Those are, those are, uh, Disney characters. And Mickey Mouse and such. It is Amazing Spider-Man number 41. Gosh, I hate when they do that. Um, but whatever. Somebody buys it, then I like it. Fall of House of X number one. Let's take a look inside. Tappy Tappy reveals that there is actually cover stock cover. And this is pretty good art. Yeah. So, yeah. Fall of House of X, number one and last. And this is not enough copies. Might be. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 41, part of the Gang War story arc. So that's it. That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And Happy New Year.